Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Joan Aoko and today I'm super excited to show you guys how to crochet this pair of shorts over here. So I really love getting interactive with you guys. So kindly leave a comment down. Let me know what you think about this pair of shorts. Let's just get personal. Let me know which country you are from. What do you love crocheting the most? When did you start crocheting? Also feel free to ask me anything in the comment section. And also let me know what kind of tutorials you love to see more on my YouTube channel. So if it's your first time stopping by, I normally upload videos each and every week. So consider subscribing and join the family. So for this pair of shorts, you'll need to know your hip size, which is actually the waist size of the shorts. You'll also need to know your round fly, which is the area from your waist going to your crotch and then from your crotch going towards your waist again so yeah let's get started so for the materials i'm using this yarn over here it's called seagull and it's 100 percent acrylic yarn it's lightweight yarn fingering yarn but you can use any yarn of your choice as long as it's not chunky and i'm going to use 2.5 millimeter crochet hook you also need tape measure for sizing scissor to cut off your ends and the needle to weave in your ends we're going to make these shorts into panel and to do that you're going to start by making a slip knot always leave out a long tail to help you weave in your ends and then you're going to chain eight seven eight and then you're going to slip stitch in the first stitch slip stitch to close the circle once you have the circle now we're going to work inside this circle over here and you're going to chain two sorry chain three the chain three acts as your first double crochet and then you're going to make two more double crochet inside the loop the circle that you've just created so that's one two so now in total you have three double crochets you're going to chain two and make three double crochet in the circle one two three chain two three more double crochet in the circle one two three chain two and make three more double crochet in the circle So in the circle, you should be having four double crochets, uh, four, three double crochet clusters. So this is one, two, three, four. And then now let's begin on row two. To begin on the next row, you're going to chain three, turn your work around, and then into the first double crochet stitch, you are going to make two more double crochet inside that space for a total of three and then you're going to chain two go into the chain two space that you created over here and make three double crochets in that chain two space chain two go inside this chain two space and at this point you're going to make a complete shell and to do that you're going to chain uh, to make three double crochets after the three double crochets chain two and then repeat three double crochets in the same chain two space So this is a shell stitch. You have three double crochets, chain two, three double crochet, and then you're going to chain two, 
go into this chain to space over here make three double crochets chain two and to complete the row you're going to make three double crochet into this last double crochet so that's one two and the final double crochet so at this point you should be having something like this this is going to be our middle point and it's the only place where we're going to place our shells so i have made five rows of this color and at this point i need to change my color to color white and this is how you're going to change your color so when making the final double crochet uh, you're going to pull through and then before you complete these to the final stitch you're going to grab your new color and then you're going to pull it to complete the row like that and then at this point you're just going to tie these two strands tie it twice to secure it properly like that and now at this point you can continue working with your new yarn color by starting with the chain three and repeating the same thing that i showed you previously like that chain two three double crochet in the chain two space so repeat the same thing again and then when you get into the middle point here you're going to make this shell stitch go on to this other side uh, repeat the same thing we've been doing so go over and repeat the process until you get your half size of your hips and you're going to measure on this top part over here you're going to use your tape measure and you're going to stretch this upper part so once you hit half size of your hips stop at that point cut off your yarn and then make another panel exactly the same size and then i'm going to meet you at that point to join the two sides together and start working on making the actual shots so once you have your two panels and they are half size of your hips you're going to align them and now it's time to join the two sides together to join the two sides together we are only going to join into these first two three double crochets this and this and this and this and to do that this is what you're going to do at the end of the row you're going to chain three which acts as your double crochet and then you're going to go on to this other side and then into the first double crochet okay let me turn my work like this into this double crochet the first double crochet i'm going to make a slip stitch like that and then i'm going to yarn over and then on to this other side now go into the second double crochet and make a double crochet and then on to this other side into the second double crochet make a slip stitch turn on to this other side and then in the third double crochet yarn over and make a double crochet and then in the third double crochet of this other side this one you're going to make a slip stitch and then you're going to chain one and then on to this other side in the first double crochet make a double crochet and then turn on to this other side and in this first double crochet make a slip stitch yarn over turn on to this other side in the second double crochet 
make a double crochet turn on to this other side and in the second double crochet make a slip stitch yarn over turn on to this other side in the third double crochet make a double crochet and then turn over onto this other side and in this third double crochet make a slip stitch and then you're going to chain one cut your yarn and then tighten it off so you should be having something like this let me just zoom it and now this is the right side so repeat the same thing on to this other side bind it the same same way you have done on to this other side and then once you're done we're going to proceed working on the down part now that we've joined the two sides it's time to shape these shorts uh, you're going to take your yarn and then in the middle point here you're going to attach your yarn and this is how i go about it i'm going to chain one go back in the same space and make a single crochet like that and then i'm going to chain one so this acts as my first double crochet and then i'm going to make two more double crochet for a total of three now I'm going to chain two, go to this other side and make three double crochet in the chain two space. So at this point, I'm not making a complete shell. As you can see, while completing the row, I'm going to make three double crochet here, chain two to complete the row. And then we're going to have a full shell. But for now, this is what you're going to start with. And then you're going to make three double crochets in these chain two spaces. So chain two, make three double crochet in chain two space, chain two, three double crochet. So continue making, uh, chaining two with three double crochets and then I'm going to meet you at this corner and show you what to do. So I'm at the corner and this is how it looks like. So I'm going to chain two and this is the last chain two space. Make three double crochet. chain two after chaining two remember this is the place where we binded these two together you're going to go into this space over here the chain two space and make your three double crochet and now you're going to turn on to this other side now and continue making chain two and then inside the chain two space, make three double crochets. Chain two, three double crochet. So repeat, repeat the same thing. And then I'm going to meet you at this bottom part. When you get to this middle point, you're going to make a complete shell stitch by making three double crochet, chain two, and then three more double crochet in the same chain two space. The third one, and then you're going to chain two, turn on to this other side, and you're going to make three double crochet in the chain two space chain two and repeat the same thing make three double crochet in those chain two space and then i'm going to meet you at this corner 
when you get to the corner repeat what you did on the other corner so after chaining two this is the last chain to space make three double crochet chain two and then on to this other side in this first chain two space make three double crochet So on this other side, you're going to make three double crochets in this chain two space and spacing them out using chain two. So complete the row, I'm going to meet you at this point. To complete the row, uh, make three double crochet in the same chain two space and then you're going to chain two and then make a slip stitch into the first double crochet that you made to complete the shell like this to begin on the next row you are going to chain one and then you're going to turn your work around and then you're going to make a slip stitch inside this chain two space so that you can get into the middle point and then you're going to chain three this acts as your first double crochet and then you're going to make two more double crochet so now you have a total of three and then you're going to chain two and now you're going to work on this other side uh, make the make three double crochets in these chain two spaces and remember to space them out with chain two and then i'm going to meet you at this corner so i'm at the corner and it's important you be keen on this part so after making these three double crochets over here do not make three double crochet in this space over here so you're going to chain two and you're going to skip this piece and on to this other side this is where you're going to make three double crochet so you should be having something like this let me just zoom in so yeah you should be having something like this skip this chain to space and now turn on to this other side and repeat the same thing when you get to this middle point we're going to make a shell stitch When you get to the middle point, make a shell stitch. After making three double crochet, you are going to chain two and then three more double crochet in the same chain two space to complete the shell. And then you're going to chain two, turn on to this other side and repeat the same thing and then I'm going to meet you at this corner over here at the corner of this other side we're going to skip this chain two space so after chaining two you're going to cross over on to this other side and make three double crochet inside this chain two space so you should be having something like this and now make repeat the same thing we've been doing and then you're going to complete the row at this point over here i'm at the end of the row and now we are completing the row by making three double crochet in that same chain to space 
after that you're going to chain two and make a slip stitch into the first double crochet to close the row so for the next number of rows you're going to repeat this last row that we've made over and over again until you get your round fly so i'm working with a round fly of 24 inches of which two inches i'm going to make the ribbing effect on the waist so from this waist going towards the down part i need 24 inches uh, sorry i need 22 inches and this is how you're going to measure it uh, take your tape measure and hold it on to the upper part and then i'm going just to stretch it out a little bit so so far i have like 10 inches multiply by two so far this round fly is 20 inches and i need 22 so i need to get this top uh, these shorts up to 11 inches so i'm going to repeat this previous row until i get up to 11 inches and then i'm going to stop at that point so stop at that point once you hit your round fly stop at that point and then i'm going to show you what to do also at the start of the row don't forget to turn your work uh, so that you can achieve the same pattern yeah it's very much so once you have your round fly it's time to join these two sides together so chain one and turn your work around slip stitch into this space chain two and make three double crochets so once you have your three double crochet in the middle chain two go into this other side and make three double crochet inside this chain two space And now you're going to work towards this direction. So you should be having something like this. Now work towards this direction. I'm going to meet you at this corner over here. When you get to the corner which is this point you're going to make three double crochet chain two still skip this chain two space and go on to this other side and make your three double crochet And then repeat the same thing uh, three double crochet in chain two space and then space it out with the chain two I'm almost at the starting point so once you have your final three double crochet in that chain two space chain two and then slip stitch into this first stitch over here to complete the row like that so i ended up changing my yarn color and to begin on the next row chain one turn your work around and then slip stitch into this chain two space so that you can get your yarn and hook there chain two and then make two more double crochet so once you have three double crochet you're going to make three double crochet in this chain two spaces and then space them out with chain two stitches exactly what we've been doing and then when you get to this corner you're going to repeat the same thing by skipping this and crossing over onto this other side and then repeat the same stitches we've been using i'm going to meet you at this starting point so i'm almost at this center point 
and I'm going to make three double crochet in that chain two space chain two and now you're going to make two double crochet in this chain two space over here now to complete the row chain two and make a slip stitch into the first stitch to complete the row and at this point you should be having something like this so this is your thigh gap so if you still have like a big thigh gap continue repeating the same thing that we've been doing the same pattern now and i think i'm going to repeat one more time uh, and then once i have my thigh gap it's because this side when you skip this space over here it's actually reducing this opening over here so be careful uh, you don't end up with a tiny space that won't accommodate your leg and your thigh so be mindful of that so to begin on the next row you are just going to chain one turn your work around and then slip stitch to get your hook and yarn into this space over here and then you're going to make three double crochet and it's pretty much simple just repeat uh, what we've been doing by chaining two and making three double crochet in the chain two space so go ahead and complete the row i'm going to meet you at this starting point after making the final three double crochets you're going to chain two and close the row and at this point i'm going to change my yarn so now at this point i have uh my thigh my thigh size the fuller thigh over here at this point uh on the next row we're not going to skip this row uh skip this stitch over here we are going to work inside it so to begin on the next row chain one and turn your work around slip stitch into that chain two space chain two and then make two extra double crochet and then chain two double crochet three times in those chain two spaces So when you get to this side corner do not skip this chain two you're going to work inside it so chain two and make your two double crochet inside this corner chain two space so at this point we are building the height of the thigh so chain two and on to this other side make three double crochet in each and every chain two space until you complete the row so at the end of the row you're going to chain two and then slip stitch into the first stitch so for the next number of rows, uh, depending on the coverage that you need, you are going to repeat this row over and over again as you increase the coverage of your thigh. And yeah, so go ahead and do that. I'm going to meet you uh, once I'm done with the size that I need. And then you're going to repeat the same thing on to the other side now i'm done with uh, one side of the shorts now you're going to repeat the same thing on to this other side you're going to start by attaching your yarn in the middle point 
which is this place over here. So, after attaching your yarn, you're going to chain two and then add two more extra stitches. So at the center point, you should be having three double crochet, chain two. Don't forget to make two double crochet into this space over here. Three double crochet, I mean. And now chain two and make three double crochet in the chain two space. Now repeat all around using the same technique you used on to this other side. And then once you're done, we're going to start fixing the waist. So I'm done working on the other leg and this is what I have so far. So the next thing we're going to do is to bind the leg of the pant. To do that, make a uh, six single crochet, a uh, six double crochet in this chain two space. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and then in the next chain two space, make a single crochet. In the next chain two space, six double crochet. Three, four, five, six. In the next chain space, make a single crochet. In the next chain space, six double crochet. Repeat until you complete the row. Once done, slip stitch into the first stitch, chain one, and then cut off your yarn and tighten it off so the next thing i'm going to do is to weave in my ends and then we're going to make the waistband so i also went ahead and weaved in the ends now it's time to make the waistband attach your yarn in the middle point And then chain two this chain two acts as your first double crochet make another double crochet inside that space and now in each and every row you're going to make two double crochet so in this row over here make two double crochet in the next row over here make two double crochet so repeat this until the end of the row. Once you're at the end of the row, slip stitch into the first uh, stitch to join to complete the circle. So for the next row, we're going to make front post, back post. So chain two. This acts as your first double crochet. And then into the next stitch, you are going to make a back post. Into the next stitch, you're going to make a front post, so yarn over. Into the next stitch, pull it forward and make a double crochet. The next stitch, you're going to make a back post, so yarn over, pull the next stitch backwards and then make a double crochet. In the next stitch, yarn over, pull the stitch in front make a double crochet so you're going to repeat this making a front post and back post until you complete the row to complete the row slip stitch into the first uh, stitch and then to begin on the next row chain two and where you have a back post you're going to make a back post where you have a front post you're going to make a front post Where you have a back post, you're going to make a back post. Repeat this until the end of the row and then you're going to slip stitch into the first stitch to join to complete the row. 
To complete the row, slip stitch into the first stitch and then chain one and cut off your yarn. At this point, I'm going to cut off this yarn, but you can continue increasing your waistband uh, as per your desire. And yeah, this is it. So the next thing you're going to do is make a chain, a drawstring, and then fix it on the waist and that's it. Then weave in your ends. So thank you so much for watching. Bye.